Hello stamping friends, it's Angie here with Too Cool Stamping and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and if you do not have a demonstrator and would like to purchase Stampin' Up! products, I'd always love to help you out. So check me out at TooCoolStamping.com. So today we have a really pretty class. I know you're going to love it. We've had a crazy, crazy year. Would you not agree? I feel like... Um, the stamp set we're going to be using today is the perfect holiday stamp set for this year in particular because it's been so crazy. We could use a little joy. We could use a little peace. And the Dove of Hope stamp set has just the right sentiments and images to create a hopeful holo holiday greeting and uh, wish people hope and joy and peace into the new year. So we're going to be playing with that today and I know you're going to love these cards really really pretty dove images and uh, like i said it's i just think it's perfect for this time of year so if you don't have your holiday cards made this is we're getting down to the wire here okay we're in december place your order get your stamp sets you still have time to get those christmas cards out i'm not done either i'm not done either but we can get those out uh, and I have some ideas for you today. So before we get started with that, I wanted to just let you know that um, in about a month, a little more than a month, January 5th, that's when our brand new mini catalog comes out. It'll be the January to June mini catalog. It's right here and it has some awesome, awesome products in it. You guys are gonna love it. Uh, all kinds of stamps and uh, dies and embellishments and papers for all of the months of the first part of the year, basically. So you have beautiful flowers, there's lovely uh, Mother's Day things, Father's Day, graduation, that type of thing. So that's all gonna be in our mini catalog. It comes out on January 5th, that's when customers can order. If you're a demonstrator, you can actually pre-order from that catalog right now. So uh, if you're interested in getting some products, purchase that starter kit for $99 and you can become part of my Too Cool team and you can start ordering from that catalog right now. You can also start to earn products from our celebration flyer. This flyer comes out in January and it's a little bit different than in the past. Many of you may be familiar with the, stamp, the, with the celebration promotion that Stampin' Up! does every year. Typically, it's three months this year. It's going to be just two months, but there's a reason for that. Well, there's actually going to be two cool celebration promotions this year, this coming year. So the first one will be with the um, release of the January to June mini catalog. And then the second one is going to start uh, with the J July to December mini catalog for next year. So we'll have two cool periods to do celebration. And that's why they made them just a little bit shorter. So January, uh, January 5th through February uh, 28th. We do have 28 days, I believe, uh, next year. So yeah, just a two-month period. And what is celebration? If you don't know what it is, it's the coolest time of the year because you can receive a free product from our celebration flyer. I can't show you the inside yet, but there's some really cool stamp sets and papers and things in here that you can select for every $50 that you spend. So it's a great time of year to get an extra bonus and I know you're gonna love it. Like I mentioned, if you are a demonstrator, you can actually start earning products from this flyer right now. Uh, and you can um, even look at some of the products when you place your starter kit order and add these to your starter kit order. So. Lots of fun stuff coming right after the holidays. I hope you guys are excited about that. I wanted to let you know that if you have placed an order with me in the past six months, you should be receiving those catalogs in the mail in the next several weeks. So right before the sale hits, you'll be able to get those in the mail. If you have not ordered from me recently or you're not sure if you're gonna get a catalog or maybe you're new to Too Cool Stamping and you'd like a catalog, just send me a message with your address and let me know and I'll make sure that I get a flyer to you as soon as they are available. All right, so I wanted to make sure you knew about that before we get started. But let's turn the camera down and get started with our projects. I know that you are going to love these projects today. So hold on, little roller coaster ride. Close your eyes if you want to. And let's get everything all nice. Sorry about my hand there. This is always the really awkward part. 
There we go. Turn some lights on here. All right, we are ready to get started with the Dove of Hope bundle. This is such a pretty set. There's two different Dove images from the stamp sets, a pretty sprig here that you can have him set on, um, some beautiful sentiments, an ornament, even a little snowflake. So really, really pretty. And then the bundle comes with some beautiful dies. So not only are there outline dies, so you can cut out the two doves. There's also a nice sprig here. Um, you can cut out that stamped branch. And then there's also some beautiful die cuts that you can build a dove. And I'll show you what, uh, what that's all about on one of our cards today. But you can actually piece together the wings and the body and everything to make a dove that is not stamped, it's all die cut. So that is really, really awesome. Okay, so let's get started with the Dove of Hope today. And we're gonna start out that one of the things I was trying to do, I know we get down to this time of year and we have, I have lots of scraps of holiday paper to use up. And so I thought I'm gonna make a couple of cards here that are perfect for those scraps that you don't know what to do with. You don't wanna really throw them away because they're still beautiful papers. These, uh, this first card here is gonna be a great way to use up those scraps as a really pretty background. So I'm gonna start off here with our traditional five and a half by eight and a half inch card base. It's in Mossy Meadow, and I've scored at the four and a quarter inch mark. That'll be our card base. We also have a piece of real red. This one is four by five and a quarter. And then this piece of Whisper White is, um, it's going to be three and seven eighths by four and or by five and an eighth. So just a little, a little bit shy of that, just to create a cute mat. All right. So those are our background pieces. Then we'll show you just some strips of paper, and you can select any papers that you want. They just need to coordinate, and you know all of Stampin' Up papers coordinate beautifully. So I took some from the Heartwarming Hugs designer series paper. I had some of these strips that were perfectly one inch, and I wanted to just go ahead and use that as a really cute background. So they're just one inch by four and a half, I believe. So let me start by putting some seal. This is brand new. Are you guys using the seal? I absolutely love it. I'm gonna put that right in the center of our card. So center it and also center it, center it up and down and side to side. And then we'll add these strips on either side. And we'll put them up just about maybe an eighth of an inch apart and they just fit perfectly. So take whatever scraps that you have. There's so many different papers that we have that are beautiful and that coordinate, and just take some strips. You can use whatever colors for your card base. It doesn't have, you know, it's just really easy to coordinate this particular card. So I'll add this background onto my real red mat. And before we add that to the background, I'm gonna add some of the Real Red braided linen trim. So if you're familiar with the, bra the braided linen trim natural color, it's exactly the same. It's just in a really pretty red, and it's a new item to this current mini catalog that we're in, just for the holidays. So we'll just tie that in a double knot. trim that off and because it's braided I love just fraying the ends it looks so pretty kind of makes it into a little textured bow see how that looks I love how that's kind of fringy so we'll have that I'm gonna scooch this down just a teeny bit and actually I think I'm gonna put this on the other side there we go now add this and you definitely want to have seal or even seal plus for this since we have some ribbon on there, some um, that linen trim. 
we don't want that to pop off of our card base. So make sure you put a lot of really nice, secure adhesive on that. All right, beautiful card base. So you can do this, like I said, with any designer series paper. Next, we're gonna start with the largest of the stitch shapes circles in Whisper White. And I'm gonna stamp the sentiment. We're gonna use Cherry Cobbler, even though we don't have a lot of Cherry Cobbler in this, we have mostly real red. I do like the look. Let me just add a little bit. I don't think I have it covered yet. There we go. And we'll just add that to the bottom. And then we will take this branch. We're gonna add that right above it in pear pizzazz. Okay, I love that. And then the last thing we're gonna do is on just a scrap piece of paper, we're gonna stamp one of those pretty doves. And the nice thing, like I mentioned earlier, is that we have that die cuts. These are the detailed dove die cuts, so I have a die that's gonna cut that out perfectly, so I've already done that. So there's my pretty dove. And let's do a, just a little bit of coloring. So for the branch, I'm gonna color that in with some light old olive on these leaves. So just some simple, we're not doing any shading or anything, just filling it in with color. And then I'll have the light real red to fill in those berries. Just give that a little bit of color. Okay, that's gonna go right in the middle here. I'm gonna pop that up with dimensionals. <clears throat> Pardon me. I always have my little pile of dimensionals I have to clean up afterwards, they go everywhere. I should just have a trash can right there, right? Be the best way. Okay, so there's our focal point. And then I'm gonna pop him up right there. Before I do that, I'm gonna color that into just that little branch. So we'll use the light old olive again. And a little real red berry. And I think, I don't, I love that, I mean, doves are generally white. I'm gonna give them, give this one just a little bit of color with the light gray granite. So just a little swoosh of some color, a little bit of color on the tips of the wings, on his head, just a hint, of, and maybe also on his beak. So you can see just a hint of color there. And I'll pop this up as well. I think I'm gonna use a mini dimensional right there. All right. And then we'll just add him on top. We're almost done. Let's just finish up with a few rhinestones. We have to have a little sparkle, you know. That's what really makes it look finished to me anyway. So just a few of those floating around. So that is our first card. I love this, it's a nice traditional color combination. You can also, like I mentioned, just pick whatever designer series paper that you have. And I chose the Brightly Gleaming for my Too Cool version here. So I have, again, uh, one by four and a half strips of this. It's actually, a very vanilla background, but I thought it was close enough. So I just kept it on white. Everything is pretty much the same um, Mossy Meadow card base. I have Knight of Navy for the matte this time. The sentiment is in Pretty Peacock. The 
leaves are stamped in mossy meadow, colored in light old olive, or light mossy meadow, I think, and then also light pretty peacock. And then the dove is stamped in night of navy, same gray granite, and the same leaves as um, on the circle. And then here's our braided trim, just in that natural color. I thought that looked nice and kind of, um, kind of played off of the dove a little bit. So I love both of those versions so much. Both of these cards will be included in your five card kit. So let me talk to you a little bit about what that is if you're not familiar. Uh, so what I do is I put together a class kit with all the supplies to create five cards from today's demonstration. I usually demonstrate more than five or show more than five, but I'll pick five that I'll give you supplies for. And all you need to do to get that kit is to place a $35 order with me just go to twocoolstamping.com, click on the Shop Now link, that'll take you to my online store, and be sure to use that host code, RGY6ZRHK, that's this week's host code to get you that free class kit. And I'll, as we go, I'll show you which cards are gonna be included in that kit, but both of these will be included. I love how both of them turned out, so I thought you'd like to do both of those. Um, also, I wanted to mention that this offer will last until December 9th. So you have to place that order before December 9th, and then I'll get everything mailed out on the 12th. All right, let's go ahead with our next card. This one is a fancy fold. It's actually called a joy fold card. And I'm not sure where it got that name, but I like it. <laughs> and it fits the theme of this with love and joy and peace. Um, so this starts out with mint macaron. It's four and a half or four and a quarter wide by eight and three quarters. And then we scored it at the five and a half inch mark. So this part is a traditional card and then card um, measurement. And then we have a shortened card front here. So that's the card base. Then the little part that I have what I actually did was I just cut a half a sheet of cardstock and then I cut it down to three and three quarter and then I had this piece left and I cut that down to four. So you can see it's just a little bit shorter. And then I embossed that with the Subtles texture. So you, you might be able to pick up a little bit of texture there. We're gonna put that right on the inside of our card so it shows through to the outside. So we'll put this right here. All right, next we have the joy fold part of it. So this is an eight and a half by three inch piece and then I've scored it at four and a quarter. And this is going to open in the opposite direction. So let me just go ahead and put that down. I'm actually gonna use the seal plus for this one, just to give it a little extra security, a little extra hold. And we're going to center that right in the middle there and see how it's opening this way. So it's kind of gonna overlap both directions. All right, let's start some decorating here. I have my first piece is a piece that is two and three quarter by four, and it's part of the Snowflake Splendor paper. So I'm just using, you could use this side if you wanted to, but I wanted it to be a little more muted. So I'm just using, I'm kind of doing a monochromatic theme here. So that's gonna go on our front flap. And then we're also gonna decorate this front flap and that's going to be with the Feels Like Frost paper. This is that beautiful paper that has the realistic uh, photography on the back. You just have a, t a touch of it here on this piece, but this is a three by four inch piece, and we're gonna use that beautiful silver pattern. I love that. This is paper from actually from last year that they carried over. So we'll add that to the front, and I love how that looks. So now we have the texture piece, as well as those two designer series papers. Okay, let's pretty it up a little bit. We are going to stamp 
the other dove image this time. And we're stamping that in smoky slate, just on some scrap whisper white. We also want to do the branch image. I need to clean that up with my Simply Chamois. So I'm just gonna stamp off my extra ink and then give it a smushy smush on my chamois. Ink it again with Smoky Slate. And then I'm gonna run that through the stamp and cut and emboss machine. And we'll have those die cut with the dies from the detailed doves dies. So that makes it so easy to cut out. And by the way, just wanted to let you know that the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine is going to be available with that new mini catalog that comes out. So I know we've been waiting on it. Many of you have been wanting to know when it's gonna come out, but it's actually gonna be uh, released in January. If you're a demonstrator, you can actually pre-order it right now and get that in. I just ordered it, I don't have it in my hands, but as soon as I do, I'm gonna show you guys what it is all about. It's so adorable. So I'm gonna color these leaves in with dark mint macaron stamp and blends markers. Again, no shading, just coloring in to get more of that monochromatic mint macaron and smoky slate look. And then I'm just gonna make these berries gray to continue with that color combination. All right, so this guy is gonna go over here. Let's go ahead and put these that about right there. This is going to be popped up with dimensionals. If you wanted to add a little bit of color like we did to the other one, you could certainly do that. I might do another little mini dimensional right there. All right, I think I might put one more. That wing is just kind of hanging right out there. The mini dimensionals fit on it perfectly. Sometimes you just need a little tiny piece. All right, let's wait on that for one second because I wanna see how I'm gonna put my sentiment on there first. So I've already die cut a little piece here from the Tasteful Labels dies, and we're gonna stamp that with our piece on earth, which I have to clean that up too. So we'll stamp that also with the smoky slate. Perfect. And we're going to pop that up as well. We'll know exactly where to place that dove once I get this on there. So this will be popped up. Then we can take this little guy. And so you can kind of just have him hanging off the edge just like this is hanging off. I love that. Let's do the inside real quick. Peace on earth and did I bring it over here? I didn't bring my other one. I was gonna stamp with and hope in your heart, but I forgot to bring that over here and I don't have it with me, but we can use the other one. The other sentiment is completely, is really, really great for the inside. May your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of Christmas. That's perfect for an inside sentiment. So we'll go ahead and stamp that in our smoky slate as well. You wanted to you could put um, another little 
branch here on the side. You could color that in if you wanted to, just to give it a little more color on the inside. Don't be afraid to decorate the inside. I don't show that a lot, but it's so fun to carry that coordinating images or the same images onto the inside of your card. It really looks very finished that way. And even the envelope, you could put a little branch on the envelope and that would look great too. All right, so I have just a little piece of adhesive there that's driving me crazy, it's sticking on everything. All right, put this on the inside. I love how this turned out, really pretty. All right, so there's our joy fold. I think it needs, what does it need? It needs some rhinestones, what I do with them. Mm-hmm, here they are. Some little rhinestones, of course. Let's put one here and a couple over on this side. All right, that finishes that up nicely. Just the plain rhinestones really pick up that silver. The smoky slate also picks up that silver very nicely. I love how the mint macaron on this side kind of balances out the mint macaron. And then you have that really cute fold. I love a good fun fold. Okay, so that is our second card. This will be in your card kit. And let me show you another version that I made, my too cool version. I used the same silver uh, from the Feels Like Frost. I used a different sheet from the Snowflake Splendor. I stamped everything in Misty Moonlight or Smoky Slate, colored in with some seaside spray. So that was kind of fun. The berries are in Misty Moonlight. And there I have the and hope in your heart on the inside of this one. And it, it would have been nice to put a little branch in there too. All right, so those are your second cards. Okay. You guys are gonna love this. Like I mentioned in the dies, you can create, you can build your own dove and we're gonna be doing that with our third card here. We're gonna start out with Whisper White Thick. We always like to have the thick version for a card base that's nice and sturdy. Next, we have the Poinsettia Place Specialty Paper. So you can pick any of, there's three different vellums vellum designs or flocked designs on vellum I guess I love that it's translucent and this is a three and three quarter by five inch sheet and we're gonna add that to some coastal cabana so I love the way that looks through that so this is a three and seven eighths by five and an eighth inch piece of Coastal Cabana. And then we're just gonna add that directly to our card base. It looks beautiful already. And I love the look of this flocking in combination with the dove. It's just so elegant. You'll see what I mean in a minute. All right, so there's our background, gorgeous. I have a little strip here of silver I believe that it is hmm I think it's three quarter by five usually I have my little ruler with me and I forgot to bring it over here whoops now this back the back of this is kind of slick so sometimes you might have to start that with your finger because it doesn't catch onto it it's kind of just a little bit slick behind that foil so, whoops, I can't put that on yet. Whoa, set that aside. I gotta put my sentiment on first. Shoo, almost, almost messed up. Okay, we're gonna stamp our sentiment in Coastal Cabana. And for this one, we're gonna use that pretty peace, joy, and love on a little 5 8 inch strip of Whisper White. And this is three and a quarter inch wide. <clears throat> All right. Now we can put that on and then we can put our silver on. So this is gonna go right across the bottom here. 
Now we can put that silver on. Beautiful. Ooh, it's really getting elegant. All right, this is where it gets fun. So we're using these dies here. You can create the body of the bird. You have a solid wing here. Then you have a detailed wing. Then you have a detailed tail feather that kind of, or it's kind of a more of a solid one that goes underneath that detailed one. Okay, so here's all our pieces. This is our body. We have the solid wing and then the detailed wing and those are gonna be layered together. And we want to have two of those because most birds, you know, have two wings and this little tail feather. So let's start putting those together. And this is what I did. You can, um, you know, if you wanna use liquid glue, that would be a great thing to do. I, I just decided to use some glue dots and I put just one little glue dot right here behind, right by that tail feather. And that's gonna go right over this piece. So it's gonna keep a little bit of having it pop up a little bit. See what I'm saying? If you wanted to, like I said, you could use some liquid glue and, and tack that down a little bit better. But I just wanted it to kind of stand up a little bit for some texture. I'm gonna do the same thing with the wings. So just a couple of glue dots on the detailed wing, and then we'll just layer that right on the solid wing. All right. Okay, so let's start adding our beautiful dove to our card front. We'll use just regular seal. You could use the seal plus if you wanted to. And this is gonna start right here. And I'm not gonna push that all the way down because I'm gonna put this uh, wing behind it. And I wanna kind of be able to manipulate that a little bit so I have perfect positioning. So our first wing, it's gonna kinda go straight up. I'm gonna tuck it behind and kind of go straight up like that. And I'll push that one down, and then I guess I'm ready to put that body down, and we'll do the other wing. And that's gonna go to the side a little bit and overlap that silver. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. So just with some simple die cuts, and I have to say, you know, some Sometimes you have a detailed die cut that is really hard to get out of the die. These were not hard at all. It even has a little bit of detail. Do you see the, the feather detail that's embossed on the body? Hopefully the camera can pick that up, but so, so pretty. Okay, one more little piece. I die cut a little sprig that I want to, him to be holding. So this one, I am gonna use some liquid glue for that just because it's so skinny. So just a couple of dots there. And then spread it out just a little bit. And I'm gonna have it go underneath his beak like he's holding it. And then we're gonna have to hold that down for just a little bit. I like using the liquid glue here, not only because it's a skinny little die cut, but also because you have that flocking. And the liquid glue is gonna hold on that texture on the, the flocking on the vellum a lot better than like a glue dot, for example. So that looks like it's gonna stay. All right, we have just a couple more. Of course, you have to put a little bling on there. The holiday rhinestones look perfect with this. So I'm just gonna add a couple of little sparklies right here. Gives it a, another little touch of color and shine. All right. So that is our next card, and this one will be in your card kit. Let me show you my other version, which I also love. This one I used Seaside Spray for the background, and I love, I just love that color. It's like a purpley blue, and 
really everything's the same. I just stamped in Seaside Spray. I even colored the rhinestones in dark Seaside Spray Stampin' Blends. I don't know if you can see the actual color. You probably could just use regular rhinestones there, but I really love how those turned out. But you'll get the Coastal Cabana one in your live kit. Okay, one more card to show you. And this one begins with Real Red, our traditional red for the holidays. Next, I have a piece of five and a quarter by four, and it's embossed with the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder. And you can use either side is, is really pretty. I kind of like the side that's debossed. It's kind of flat. So that's what I'm going to put on my background here. So we'll center that on the background. Next we have a little piece of Pretty Peacock. So that's five and a quarter by one and a quarter. This is just going to go right along the bottom for a little pop of color. Next, we're gonna add some ribbon, the All the Trimmings ribbon. This is actually Poppy Parade color, but it looks so close to Real Red that we're just gonna go with it. And it has that beautiful gold edging on it, so that really sparkles. I love that ribbon. So easy to tie. It comes in a combo pack with the Old Olive color as well. So lots of versatility in that ribbon pack. All the trimmings. All right, we're gonna make this go clear to the edge here. All right, let's work on the focal point. That's a pretty background. All right, the focal point, I've already pre-cut uh, one of these scalloped rectangles from the Stitched So Sweetly dies, and that's in Whisper White. And we're going to stamp the Peace, Love, and Joy. I gotta clean that off again. We're gonna stamp that in real red, right along the bottom. All right, next, there are not just dubs in this beautiful stamp set. There are also some other things. So we're gonna actually stamp with this cute ornament. So no dubs on this one, just this cute ornament. We're gonna stamp that in Memento Black. And the whole idea is we're gonna line up that ornament. Whoops, I didn't hardly get enough ink on there. We don't wanna do that. All right, I'm glad I checked. I also have a little ink on the side, which I'm gonna get rid of. We're gonna stamp three of them, and I want them to line up with each word, and they're gonna come from off the edge of the die cut. Make sure I have no more ink on that side. So one for each word. There you go. And then we'll color that in with some Stampin' Blends. We're gonna start with Real Red Light. Again, we're not gonna do any of the shading. This is just to fill in the color, which is a great way to use these markers because they are perfect for that. If you're filling in color, I like to use the brush tip edge. There's the brush tip and the fine tip end. The brush tip has a really narrow tip, which is great for getting into those little tiny areas. You also have to be really careful not to smash that nib. So use it like a paintbrush, just barely touch the paper to transfer that ink. So that's real red. Next, let's add some light Just Jade. 
to the bottoms here. And you could make these all different if you wanted to. I just wanted to kind of have some repetition. So I'm making them the same. And we'll finish off with Pretty Peacock. And let me just add a little bit to this top. There we go. And this time we're also gonna add a little bit of Wink of Stella because sometimes you just need Wink of Stella to give some awesome sparkle. So these are nice and glittery, ready for decorating for the holidays. All right, I love that. Just really simple, really cute. You can see that shimmer. We're gonna layer that on a piece of uh, Just Jade. And this is three and three quarter by two and five eighths. I'm going by memory now, since I didn't bring my ruler over here, so I'm pretty sure that's right. You can check on my website later when I I'll give you all the details for each of these cards and over the next few days. All right, so that's gonna go on here. We're gonna pop that up with some dimensionals. Notice I didn't put any dimensionals where that ribbon is gonna go because I didn't want it to be too bulky. And then we'll just add that to the center of our card. Oh, I just love that. So simple and sweet. All right, let's finish off with a little more sparkle. I have some red rhinestones here. And I'm just gonna add one to each ornament. It's all about threes today. All right. So that is our, oops, sorry, I'm picking up some things here. <laughs> I just had a whole bunch of cards just fall on the ground and I wanted to, they were at a weird angle. <laughs> their, their edges are all bashed in now. I hate when that happens. Anyway, so this is our card, our last card. I love how that turned out. This one will be in your card kit. Let me show you the second version the too cool version i used all the same well not quite some of the same colors i used the pretty peacock for the background this time old olive for our pop of color along with the old olive ribbon from the all the trimmings combo pack and then i just um, used old olive real red and pretty peacock for the ornaments and some real red for that matte so very similar just a different color combination all right, so those are the cards. Let's get all of our cards for our class out here so you can see again what we're gonna be sharing. So these are all five cards that you'll receive with your card pack. And I'm gonna show you this one because this one's actually laying a little flatter. There we go. So. You'll get all the parts and pieces to create these five cards in your free live kit. All you need to do is place that order for $35 at twocoolstamping.com, clicking on the Shop Now link to take you to my online store. Don't forget to use that host code RGY6ZRHK. That's going to let me know that this is the kit that you are looking at. If you have an order that's for $150 or more, do not use the host code. For orders of $150 or more, you can start to earn Stampin' Rewards dollars that you can spend on free merchandise. So I don't want you, if you use a host code, you're giving that up and I don't want you to. So I want you to be able to enjoy those host rewards for $150 or more. But anything under that, $35 to $149. Use that host code and this will get you that free kit. I'll send it the kit automatically if you have that larger order. Um, and, and you'll get all the parts and pieces. You'll get all the die cuts. The only thing you'll have to um, do on your own, like you'll get the die cutting for the this particular 
dove. For these other doves that are die cut, because they're stamped first, I'm not gonna give you the die cuts for those. I'll just give you paper to stamp on, and then you can use your own dies or hand cut those. So, but all of the paper and everything will be included for that, including um, for the inside. So you'll make, I'll have all of the, the inside pieces so that you can have your messages written in there as well. All right, everybody, I hope that you've enjoyed this Dove of Hope stamp set and the detailed Dove's dies. They're so, so pretty and perfect, perfect, perfect for this crazy, crazy year and trying to find some peace and joy as we go into 2021. I hope you've enjoyed it. I sure have enjoyed showing them to you today. And please join me every week on Thursdays at 9 a.m. Eastern time for our our weekly live class. Until then, this is Angie with TooCoolStamping.com. See you later. Bye.